Hello, welcome to the third part of uh, cold modeling. So today we will uh, model uh, the trigger and the trigger protector. Let's begin. Hit tab uh, for edit mode and Z to go to wireframe mode. B for border select and select those vertices. E to extrude. and S and X and 0 scale on the Z axis we don't want to scale them on the other axis E for extrude move it in the front E again and now R to rotate just a bit, extrude again, rotate, we keep doing this until we reach right here, rotate again, extrude, Now we will connect those. First of all, we have to delete those faces. So go to face select mode, X faces. Hit one for front orthographic view, control R and add an edge loop right here. Okay, go to face mode again, we will delete <coughs> those faces as well and we will connect those, uh, select this vertex, then this one, hit Alt M at last. Sorry, let me just enable my screencast keys. Now, we will keep doing that until we connect everything. At last. Alt them at last. And the last one, and uh, now we will adjust so it uh, fits the image. Okay. We will add a look at a nice loop right here and scale it on the x axis. All right, now we will uh, model the trigger. Shift A, add mesh plane, rotate it on the x-axis in 90 degrees. And scale it down. And set to scale it some more. Tab for edit mode and extrude along the z-axis x 
extrude Z we keep doing that until we model all trigger One more time. Okay. Hit three. Right orthographic view. A to select everything. Bring it in. And hit E and Y to extrude on the Y axis. Okay. Scale it in the Y just a bit more. Hit Control 2 to add the subdivision surface with two views. Two subdivisions in the view, go in object mode and smooth it, and now we will add two edge loops right here, hit 1 and Z, C for circle select and middle mouse button to deselect all those vertices move those in front and match the size of the trigger I'm selecting with border select And it's a bit of point pulling right now. Okay. And now we will add a loop, an edge loop with control R right here, and the same at the top. and our trigger is ready now we will uh, model the sides press select the slide and press tab control r to add an edge loop right here and another one right here go to face select mode select this face and hit I and move it inwards a bit and extrude upwards scale on the X And on the Y, no, sorry, undo that. We will scale the base on the Y too. Try to adjust the shape of the image as best as you can. We will 
will add some edge loops to make it look better. Add an edge loop in the middle and move it up. Okay, and now we will model this side. Press tab to go in edit mode, alt click to select this edge loop, move it to the right, control R and add another edge loop here, SX0, move it in place, and now we will go to face select mode and select these three faces, hit I and scale it, E and move it up, SZ0, move it down a bit, extrude again, scale on the x-axis only extrude scale on the x again and extrude one more time select this edge loop and scale it again on the X <coughs> excuse me go in face select mode hit Z for wireframe C for circle select and select those faces 3 for right orthographic view and scale along the Y axis just to even it up with the front side A to deselect all C for silk select and select those three faces hit X delete faces go to vertex select mode and we will uh, fill those gaps select on the four of vertices and hit F do it for the other side too <coughs> and for the bottom we will add some uh, edge loops now control R and add an edge loop here another one here we will add some more and now we will select those vertices S Y to move them inwards and now the only the top excuse me control Z to undo we will select this side only 
as y and now only the top as y again just to give it a curve control r and add those edge loops and we will move them just a bit along the y-axis and this is our scope this concludes the third part of the cold modeling i hope to see you all guys on the fourth part